people hate too. Um, but 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 it's okay. People hate because <laughs> people's hate is none of my business. You know what I'm saying? I, and I live by that. That ain't none of my business, man. But. What's up, people? Welcome to this episode of the Body Hood Podcast, a webcast, because I don't know how you're consuming this content. I'm your host, as always. My name is Jimmy, and as we start off every show, that's with gratitude. Welcome to episode, I think this is 187, 187 of the Body Hood Podcast. I got my partner in crime, Cormie. Cor, what's up, good brother? Man, every day above ground is a good day, so let's go get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And listen, man, um... Another quick podcast in our new format. We talked about it last podcast. Um, you know, some of our thoughts and our logic and 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 why we're changing the format a little bit. But this episode is a special episode because we want to talk a little bit about what we're doing here at By the Hood, right? So um for the folks that may be tuning in for the first time or have never heard of us, um, or even if you have heard of us, but just a refresher is that we are a community organization that teaches the power of ownership. We teach it to adults. Um, but we're pretty much known a lot these days is for our work in the community with the youth and building up financially literate soldiers, as Corey likes to say. Um, that's some of our primary work. So just want to have a quick conversation about some of the things that we've been, you know, that we've been going through uh, while the podcast has been taking a break. And also some of the things that we're planning in the future and also being of service. So if there's anyone out there that can use kind of what we've built or what we're doing give you an, uh, the ability to reach out to us and, and kind of build with us because we have had folks reach out from all over the country and we started doing some work with folks, but other folks, um, you know, we're still waiting to figure out how we can be of service. But, uh, but Corey, what's up with you, bro? How you feeling overall, brother? Man, chilling, chilling, man. Everything good with you? Yeah, man. You know, I, you know, I got to check on, check on my brother every once in a while. Just make sure you're good, man. <laughs> you know, man, I'll be living, I'll be living out here, man. I ain't yes, sir. Here. Yes, sir. So the first thing I want to talk about is, um, over the past couple months is a couple programs that we've had the opportunity and the, the pleasure of working with. Like um, we talk, we'll start with uh, Charleswood Brewery Town, their, their, their civic uh, association. We did a program with them, six week program, which was amazing where we taught kids in the community here in Philadelphia. And then that particular neighborhood, um, all the kids got a stipend um, that was provided by them for the capital raise for that. Um, we talked to, they told, learned a lot about finance, about investing. So they, they start off on their journey and the feedback from that was amazing. So what were your thoughts overall with that specific program? Um, they was just ready. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. those, you know what I mean? Like when you got, when you got, um, hungry, you know, hungry, uh, people hungry for information and then hungry to use that information, it makes it, uh, so much better. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like they were just so ready. Like I can't. I, I can use other descriptive words that might not work well on the podcast. Podcast, but they were ready. Like yeah. they were hungry. They showed up on time. They were. Um, they asked a lot of questions. They were um, inquisitive about you know a lot of the things. They were. Um, they did follow up. If we asked them to follow up, yeah. they follow up. Um, they still are following up, which is which yeah. Is which is great, by the way. Which is great, yeah. So that is, um, for me, was you know how I would describe those youngsters that were there. They were they were hungry. They were ready. Yeah, and so just to give a little bit of context to that, so it's a um, neighborhood association who wanted to put together a financial literacy program for kids in the community. Um, it was ages five and up. So we had kids, the youngest five, shot the young ace, and we had um kids that were literally in their twenties, like early twenties, um, trying to figure. Yeah. Out so, but the thing is, the energy was building off of each other. It was hybrid, so we did classes um, on Zoom, but then we also met in person multiple times. So that was also was the other part. That energy was crazy. Yeah, the share the energy in person was dope. So, um, and the kids did get a stipend, like I said, from the program to be able to start their journey as investors. Now they understand what it is to be an investor. Yeah. So, Just as an aside to that, there's nothing like. The, the shared experience, the shared human mm -hmm. experience. There's nothing in the world like the shared human experience. Yeah. Like, uh, especially when the energy is good and right, like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's kind of addictive. It's like a drug. Like, it's pure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, seriously, like, like mm -hmm. the shared human experience, like, when it's not overdone and overcooked, mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's an addiction, man. Like, it's, it's, it's a, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, it's just, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, 
when you got people that want to be in the room with each other and there's no uh no malice no no bs and no you know it's just it's a lovely thing so that's one of the programs that we've worked with we also did work on march 11th we had the um the opportunity to uh teach a class with inspiring minds philly and shout out to andrea uh andrea garner who put together yeah, amazing, amazing. She had, you know, a lot of our finance folks from Philly in the building. Like our brother A. Lee was there. Rachel was there. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jamisa was in the building. We had a lot of great folks um, who were pouring into the kids. I got the chance to see my brother Amin. Amin Akbar was there. Um, Quincy uh, Harris. Yeah, yeah. Q was there. Um, politicians from the city were there. But it was all about the youth, um, inspiring minds. And we had the, uh, you know, got the chance to spend, um, had a classroom there, which was, you know, standing room only we had to bring in extra seats which was dope and we got a chance to talk about you know banking and and, and data and, and and real estate and the stock market so and again our thing the power of ownership um so that was dope i want to say congratulations to her for putting together that successful event that took congratulations place. to all of those young people who showed that up too. that too that too so um that that was just more powerful energy man so these are some of the things that we currently um have done but we also have a lot of things that we're doing in the future um and i want to make sure we talk about that too because the point of this episode is to really get back to what it is that by the hood does and which is community work so coming up right we've also um been given the opportunity to be teachers in the san kofa homeschool network right which is an amazing opportunity for us to be in front of all the kids in that homeschool network, which is a huge network, by the way, um, and teaching the babies, you know, um, that look like us finance. to learn from people that look like them. Um, and we're teaching finance and that. So shout out to Sankofa schools that starts at the end of March. Um, so you can, let me get a matter of fact, let me get the website for you so you can get some more information about that. If you want to check that out, cause, um, you know, that is open for folks that want to take it. So there's a, their network, but, um, let me get this to core. Boom. Here it is right here. So it's um, sankofahomeschool.org. As a matter of fact, let me put it on the screen too. Sankofahomeschool.org. Yep. Sankofahomeschool.org. Let me go put the uh, Sankofa. So I'll put it at the bottom of the screen um, so folks can see it. Let me see. Sankofahomeschool.org. And if you're listening um, on the audio, that's S A N. K-O-F-A, homeschool.org, sankofahomeschool.org. You can see about the, um, you know, what all their curriculum looks like. But we are there as the finance professors, and we appreciate this opportunity um, because, again, it gives us the opportunity to build with our people, man, and teach, teach the babies about finance in a way that's culturally relevant because we believe that that's important. You know what I mean? And Corey has the website up as well. If you're watching the uh, video, that's the website for San Kofa School. So shout out to San Kofa Homeschool community. Um, we are a part of the family now and we're going to bring, you know, education, talk about the power of ownership again, because that's our message, the power of ownership to that community. So that's coming up. Um, it's possible we'll be part of another uh, program in, in Atlantic City coming up soon. So be on the lookout for that as well. You know, follow us at By the Hood on all of the social platforms. You'll see information about that. What else we got going on, Corey? We got our summer camp. Our summer camp. We starting registration yeah. for our summer camp. Uh, probably uh, April. Probably April. First, week, first April. week of April. First, second week of April. Our registration will be open for our summer camp. Yeah. Um, bring your youngsters through. We're going to be talking about for six weeks. The power of um of having of, we'll, of, of of all those asset classes, and we'll have some more new newer uh like guest instructors. We always have guest instructors to kind of teach them or whatever. But it's bythehoodcamp.com, b u y t h e h o o d c a m p, uh -huh. bythehoodcamp.com. The reason why we haven't started it yet is because we got to get our dates together. Because mm -hmm. um, I'll be on vacation um, normally when we start our camp, but so it might get moved back a week. Yeah, so it's bythehoodcamp.com. Once we get the dates together for that, we'll have that set up and um, open but, up um, registration. Yeah, man, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be crazy, right? Um, the one thing that we are working on, two well, the two things that we're working on to go with our camp is something that we can um do year round with our campers. Um, we we've, we've been trying to do this for years, but our schedule gets so crazy that 
it kind of gets hard to, um, you know, keep track because we got so much great feedback. We get so much great feedback from our camp and our campers. And then, um, you know, they have to contact us really to, to, to keep in contact with us. I mean, we, we, um, we created Google classroom for them to always have like as an evergreen, um, Mm -hmm. system for them to always go back to the information and they can always contact us through, you know, through the camp and through the, um, the websites and all of the stuff that we got set up but we want something more interactive and so we're going to work on building that out and the other thing about our camp is that we're going to do um some some fundraising at some point so that we can get these youngsters some um some stipends um so so look at look out for that you know i mean um we're probably gonna throw a barbecue you know i mean we're gonna be live at the barbecue like nine (laughs) a large professor and um um and come you know i mean Come eat up all our food and support the young people. Um, so we're definitely going to be looking into doing that this summer um, as a way to support those young people um, in their investment journey. Yeah. So so uh, that's coming up. Bythehoodcamp.com is where you'll find information, but also follow us on socials and you'll see that amongst all of our crazy memes, you know, our videos of clips of our shows, you'll find information about what we got going on in the community. So um, the camp is coming up, um, AC is coming up. So it's a lot of things that we're working on and being in the community. But the, that's part of why we wanted to have this specific episode before we get back into more things going on in the news, more um, you know, uh, guests with us. We want to talk about this because we also want to put it out there that no matter where you are in the country, I don't care if you're in California, if you're in Florida, if you're in Montana, if you're looking to build and you're looking to kind of do some of the same work in the community, reach out to us because... Um, we're, yeah, we, we're want to build, you know, we want to build with other programs, exactly. But we understand that it's all about community. So, if, if you're looking, and we have talked to people in different cities who are looking to kind of do the same thing and let us be a resource for that. Um, and it's because it's not about us, we don't even have to be there, but we can give you the blueprint and the, the, the book of how to get this thing started. But we are looking to do more work because, again, we're community first, all the other stuff second. Yeah, we want to build those financially literate soldiers, man. So we, you know, we know we can't do it individually to get everybody, but we're trying to get as many as, as we possibly can. And, you know, we want them soldiers to look as much like us as possible. And, you know what I mean? So, and, you know, I mean, if they're going to be in our classes, they got to look like us. But if they in your class, they can look like whatever. But just for just just so you know, like we we, we will help you do whatever you need to do. Um no, seriously though. You no, know, I'm just laughing at you, bro. I know you know how I get, man. You're like, curbing your words as you talk. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah, you know? I'm monitoring what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm laughing. But no, but, <laughs> no but it's real. It's real. It's real, it's real, it's real my words, but you yeah. Know. So, um, so here's what I want to say, though. I do want to say this, and as a point of clarity and transparency, it, by the hood is a for-profit company, right? But we're based in 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 community work, right? And one of the reasons that we're based in community work and we're for-profit because people ask this question often. Is because we have experience in dealing with nonprofits, and when you do that, you get funding from certain folks who want to control your narrative and what you got going on. I hate using the word narrative because it's so overused at this point. But, yeah. but <laughs> they want to do goofy stuff with your program and not allow you to do right. what you set out to do. And yeah. also, and also as a point of transparency, it's not that we don't sell things too because we do sell things, right? We oh, sell sure. merch. We're we a sell- for profit. <laughs> <laughs> we sell merch. Listen, we got courses that we sell individually at bythehooduniversity.com. We have a membership group, which is ndcstrategy.com, which you see at the bottom of the screen if you're watching the video. Yes. Um, if you listen we're to not a nonprofit. Courses, we so do nonprofit work, but we're not a nonprofit. I want to make sure I make that abundantly clear. But the thing about Corey and I is any profits that we make, we do reinvest back into the community. And we can show that we do reinvest back into the community. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, so that's one of the things about us growing our brand and growing what we do in terms of even, even it'll, it'll all get back to the community. Yeah. Even people that listen to the pod, right? So if you listen to the podcast, we get advertising dollars from that. If you watch on YouTube, we get advertising dollars for that. But one thing you will be able to see when it comes to us is you can, you can tangibly see that a portion of everything we make goes to the people. Um, because that was our goal when we started to work. If you've ever been on our Friday show, we give out fifty dollars in Bitcoin every week. 
that too that goes to the community too every yeah, that goes to everything that we do flows back into the community yeah. So. I want, I'm glad you said that, Corey, because I don't think a lot of folks that listen to our Wednesday show even know that every Friday we do a live show on YouTube as well as Facebook. And every Friday we give away at least $50 in Bitcoin to the community. Um, that's just one of the things outside of what we do, um, you know, in the community in terms of doing this kind of work. Also, I had a great lunch um, with our brother Raid from City Athletics. So we did a program. Ooh, at there we did, we did his program last summer. Um, Man, summer, yeah. He's still building, doing amazing work in the community. Um, shout out to our brother Raheem, who's actually out here feeding kids. He's feeding kids. That's revolutionary work. Yeah, so we're, yeah. we're going to put together something with both of those brothers to continue to do the work in the community. Last thing I want to say about community work and what we got going on um, next, uh, coming up in August, a youth conference, right? With our sister, Rachel. Rachel Hannibal does amazing work with babies. She was actually there with us um, at the youth conference um, for Inspiring Minds. But she has her own conference um, that she does uh, for the kids in the community. That'll be coming up in August. We'll be a part of that. And you'll see information about that out soon, too. She has a whole weekend. Mm -hmm. For the for the kids. So shout out to her. We'll be there as well. Um, but again, Bodyhood is a community organization, first and foremost. So that's some of the work that we got going on. But I want to make sure I put the, you know, listen. We are a for-profit community organization. Most people don't know how that looks, right? No, because if you, you, you know, we, we talk a lot about transparency. Um, we couldn't, we, we couldn't do the work we do as a nonprofit because we get to select the work that we do as a nonprofit. When you have people that are, are you know, donating to you. A lot of those people want you to do the work that they want you to do. That's not that's not what we into. We're going to do the work that we want to do because we have a specific goal for our work. And we we don't think we can achieve that goal at the highest level, taking nonprofit dollars directly from the, the way the system is set up currently. Yeah. And so, so that's why we ask our people to, you know, pour into us so that we can pour into the work that we do. Yeah, and also we do look for volunteers too. So if you if you say, look, I ain't got no money to give y'all brothers, that's fine. We but take time. If you want to volunteer time. time, right? We can show you how to do that with us as well to um kind of you know do your part in terms of helping us um elevate and give a better experience to the youth. So we're looking for that as well. But last thing before we get out of here, I don't care where you are in the country, if you're in Florida, you're in Texas, especially if you're in Texas, because Corey got roots there too. California, anywhere, I, yo, if you in Jamaica, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you in St. Thomas, I don't care where you are because the, the stuff that we teach is, is applicable everywhere. Um, reach out to us. You know, we're looking to build all across the diaspora and we're looking to do great things for our folks. So, um, I want Corey, any last words before we get out of here, good brother? No, just um, I mean, yeah, just just be um, you know, be tuned in with us, you know what I mean? Like, come in, help, you know, um. Come talk to us. You know what I mean? Because the thing about it is you can't build community. You know, the first the first part of building is, is communication. Right. Mm -hmm. Come talk to us. You know what I mean? Like, you know where to find us. We don't always know where to find you. So if you listening to this or you can hear us or, you know, what I mean, come talk to us because we very we're readily accessible. You know, what I mean, that's the other thing. A lot of people get a couple of dollars and become less accessible. That's not what we're looking to do. We're not looking to become less accessible. We're looking to become even more accessible to the communities that we're looking to serve. Yeah. So that's not what we're looking to do. We're not looking to take our ball and go home and run. You know what I mean? Like we're looking to become more accessible to the communities we're looking to serve. And shout out to all the different schools that I've reached out because there's other other schools we haven't done yet. But, you know, we 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 on a war tour, Muhammad, my man. So we'll be at other schools um, sure. doing that, that work as too. So if you but also if you know someone who does that kind of work in schools um, and a lot of our a lot of our work is done for free on the strength. And it's not that we don't because <laughs> we we do get paid at times for creating curriculums and things of that nature. So being transparent again. But a lot of our work is done on the strength um, just to put our folks in a better space. So if you know someone who works in a school um, who may be looking to bring some sort of financial literacy or, you know, just maybe a day or a class or something send this episode to them. You can also email us um, by the hood LLC at gmail.com, or you can hit us up on any social, which is at by the hood, you know, we're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. That's our primary platforms. We're on Facebook as well at by the hood. Um, but just get with us. If you're looking to do anything in terms of nation building or, or helping to 
educate the babies. And also, listen, it's not just the kids, too. We do adult classes as well. It was to a point a little while ago, me and Corey joke about this, like a couple years ago before the pandemic, we were pulling up on people's cribs. They put five people in the room. We'll pull up, show them how to get brokerage accounts set up, show them, you know, how to invest, what investing is. You know, we weren't out giving financial advice. We're not financial advisors, you know. But yeah, we were just showing them how the system works. Yeah, how the system works and how to get set up. So, um, you know, not that we're looking to go back in people's living rooms because we was in some wild, wild spaces that we probably shouldn't have been in. But, <laughs> but with that being said, though, um, we we do believe in being transparent about what we do and sharing information. We we have an abundance mindset, so we'll tell you anything. We'll show you what we do. We don't put that out on the internet because that's just not who we are, but we will show you if in person or whatever, how we do what we do and what we do what we do. And we also even talk about some of our specific investments to our, our membership group. So very transparent about that too. But again, if you know someone looking to, to do any sort of work in the community with adults, with children, by the hood is there at by the hood, by the hood.com. If you want to read more about Corey and I, but you know, we appreciate anybody who's made it this far listening Make sure you subscribe to our content, share our content, and give us some feedback. And um, we'll be back here next week, you know, with another episode. Either we'll have a guest on or we'll talk about something going on in current events, but we will be back nonetheless. But um, um I just want to say, listen, we appreciate you. Man. We appreciate you, man. The love is real. Absolutely, because we do get love. Don't get it twisted. Like, you know, people hate too. Um, but 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 it's okay. People hate. Because <laughs> people's hate is none of my business, you know what I'm saying? I, and I live by that. That ain't none of my business, man. But remember, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much you keep. Game elevates, and we'll see you guys in our next episode. Peace.